Hey, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll uh, I'll explain why the Suzuki Grand Vitara is the best winter beater. Maybe five reasons. You know, the old five reasons format seems pretty popular on YouTube. And uh, in the past, it's worked out all right for me. So maybe I'll give you five reasons on why this thing's uh, a good little winter beater. So the first reason why this is a great little winter beater is affordability. I picked this thing up probably four years ago for just under 5k which is uh for a 70,000 mile all-wheel drive suv i thought pretty good now that take into account that suzuki's out of business um that might be a detriment but really in today's internet parts and and searches you can get anything you need you can still get service, you can still get parts, you can still find manuals, all that stuff's available online. So it's not the death sentence it once was. Reason number two is definitely gonna be the flexibility of this platform. Uh, there's a couple little quirky things about this that really make it appealing to me. Um, you've got you know, a, a very tight platform that is super easy to park. Now, when you have a, a shorter vehicle, that tends to mean not a very good back seat. For a small little SUV, it's got reclining back seats. So I'm six foot five, which you'll hear me probably say a lot in my videos. But I can almost lean back and recline in this thing. And that's nice. Now, granted, I won't spend much time back here, but someone who's five foot seven, eight, nine, ten is gonna fit back here just fine. And that's important on something that basically is a daily driver picking kids up hauling people around just doing general boring nonsense so the third best thing about this little guy is the exterior mounted spare now a lot of people get annoyed by that maybe i guess because it takes a whole 20 seconds longer if you need to get if you need to change the tire but for me that's not an issue it unclips on the bottom three lug nuts and it comes right off um, and with that plastic cover, it keeps it clean, so it's not like you're dealing with a messy tire off the back like you would on a Wrangler. Um, but by putting the tire on the back of the vehicle, you end up with a very big cargo area. Let me show you. So most, most vehicles are going to have the spare tire mounted in the cargo floor, which is going to make for a higher floor. But this one has got a very deep floor. Hey, Delia, come here. Up, up. So my best friend can ride along no problem and you can tell she's been back there before she's pretty excited you know you got this factory mat here too which you know i stack up firewood i put dogs in here i haul trash cans anything i need to do in the back of this thing i can do it because of this very flexible platform and having the spare tire on the outside oh good girl third some of the technology in this thing for for being an older little beater, it's a 2007. It has traction control, it has stability control, it has all wheel drive, it has, uh, and all that stuff's computer controlled and has been flawless. So for me, that's super, super important for someone that drives in Michigan winters. So I'm able to safely, you know, commute in six inches of snow. And at the purchase price, you know, I don't mind that it's gonna get covered in salt because maybe I'll pick another one up for five grand. But uh, yeah, it, it just works great in the winter. It's big enough to haul people. It's small enough that it's easy to park. And if you see, and so lastly, if you see on the side of it, it's got a little V6 badge because it does have a six cylinder. It gets decent enough mileage, low twenties, not particularly great, but also when you consider that you can put four or five people in there, as much luggage as you want, and know that you can safely haul them down the highway at 75, 80 miles an hour, no problem. It makes for a really good little package. So, yeah. so lastly, just having uh, you know still somewhat current styling, even though it's going on 16, 17 years old, it doesn't look like an old car. Um, and the corrosion resistance on the outside, it's still not showing any rust. There is certainly some in the bottom of the rockers and stuff, but you can't see any of it. So. You know, being able to drive around and not have something that you might feel embarrassed about because it's, it is an older car, but it doesn't show like an older car. So if that makes any sense to you, and then just the fact that it's quirk, you know, quirk is in to me, maybe, and there just aren't as many people out there that 
that you don't you don't see these things right there's a million and a half rav4s there's a million and a half crvs out there but you don't see too many suzukis maybe for a reason but i really enjoy this little car so those are my five reasons why this is a great little winter beater and why i have no intention of selling it anytime soon thanks for watching if you like share subscribe all the fun stuff have a good day take care